Hey guys, EJ's Amazing Geckos here with a Waxworm Colony update. Uh, this is really the first update on my Waxworms. Never really mentioned it in the other videos, but um, I got a while back um, a like little thing of 100 Waxworms. And I fed about 30 of them to my animals. And then kept the rest pretty much, and then put them all in here. And as you can tell, this little red thing right here, that is a cocoon. So, that's what it looks like once the worm goes into the cocoon. So there's that. Then there's another one right here. And then tried to dig up. That's uh, just a regular one. Another cocoon. Regular. They're getting pretty bulky. So yesterday about like a quarter of them were cocooned and now half of them or more of them are cocooned. So um, that's a really good sign. Through the process about uh, 15 died. So, I was kind of getting worried that I was going to lose my colony, but, uh, it's going, like, really strong now. So, um, hopefully I'll have some wax worms for my colony. But if you want to know how to do this, you're going to want to get just a regular tub. I got this tub at, uh, Home Depot. I also got other tubs at, um, Walmart, Target, um any of those really and they're only a dollar so it's like really good price so what you're gonna need to do is cut some holes I only did the lid and the reason why I have duct tape and like little holes right here is because I made the holes a little too big and the moth would just fly right through it so um put the duct tape on the the bigger ones so there's that so after that, you have your tub, you're going to need some oats. Um, I think it was called Quick Oats or something like that. It just came in a regular, like, container, a tall container with oats. And it was probably, like, two bucks. It was the cheapest one. And they taste horrible, by the way, so uh, don't eat them. I wouldn't. But um, what I did, I, I put in the oats. I put in honey. And I put in glycerin, and what um, I did is just mixed them all together. And what the glycerin did is make sure that the honey doesn't harden, so you can like just do that. I'm pretty sure after like two months or a couple months, you're supposed to reapply with honey and glycerin, just so they the worms can eat more of the honey. They don't eat the glycerin, but it's okay if they do. Um, so, um, yeah. But you're not, when you first get all your worms, if you want to use some for feeding, then I'd get about a hundred in. Definitely let the big ones in here, like at least 50 of them, um, don't feed them to your animals. But, um, after about like, probably about three weeks, it took um, them to cocoon, probably two weeks, um, to when um, they act one actually cocooned. But three weeks is definitely the time, because almost every single one of them cocooned. So um, that was it for that video. If you have any questions about making this, or if you have any questions about any of my other setups, um, I got crusty geckos, morning geckos, day geckos. Um, and all of that, um, over here I got the day gecko set up. I know somebody asked, um, if you can put a frog in a day gecko enclosure. Uh, you definitely can, but you need a big enough enclosure. Um, you're not, you're gonna have to get not a small frog. But, um, I was a little worried too when I got a frog in my day gecko enclosure because he was eating everything in sight pretty much. Um, 
but he learned that it was a frog and he didn't eat it or anything. He didn't even eat dart frogs. So, um, that was really good and everything. Um, a red eyed tree frog is definitely pretty cool to have in there. A green tree frog, a white tree frog. They won't mind each other. Um, just make sure you have lots of plants. You have a big tank for them. I have a pretty big tank for them. Um, you can get a size smaller, but yeah. But that's it for this video. Rate, comment, and subscribe. And also, school has started, so I'll be making less and less videos, but there's only been a week of school, so not that much homework. But I'll make a video whenever I can or when I get a request. So if you want me to do more videos, request a video. So I'll see you guys later.